I'm out on the trail for my early morning ride. I try to do this every morning, or at least every other morning, and I'm at the part that if you watch my videos, you know, talk about Salvation Bench. And if you watch the videos, you know that I have to climb. It's not a steep, steep hill, but it's a steady up climb to get here. And I'm usually massively out of breath, but I'm only partially winded now, which is interesting because I have this. If you don't know what this is, this is Amazon's Halo. I got accepted onto the invitation only part to test this out, their fitness tracker. It said that my heart rate was 64 beats per minute. I was breathing heavy because I just climbed all of this, but I'm still kind of breathing a little heavy. And I, but 64 beats per minute. Yeah, they need some work on, work on this Halo, but I want to talk today about this. Project Comp V2 because this has been my go-to bike ever since I completed it. Again, I hope these leaf noises aren't too annoying. But man, this is a beast. There's really not much that I want to change about this. Really, only one thing. This fork, which this is a Suntour XCR, I believe it was, that I got kind of generic and I just stuck my sticker on it. But man, this, even in itself, has been, been well for this trail. Of course everything's covered in leaves right now but has worked out well but i'm going to update it to an air fork and that's kind of what this is setting up for but fork aside everything else these handlebars these grips these marquee grips i don't know if that's focused enough but marquee grips are doing well and this advent x this new 10 speed setup from advent i can't say enough about this not only is there next to no chain slap but the gear range is great and you know this is a 48 tooth i think an 11 to 48 tooth and i went with that box 50 tooth on the project boundary i'm gonna say i like this better because there is practically no chain slap a clutch that i can turn off and on and it just shifts out so smooth as a matter of fact a little bit earlier i did the first adjustment i've ever had to do on this just about a quarter turn there on that barrel nut and it settled right back in it just got to where it was a little clunky between two gears but that just stretching out cable stretching out with use and speaking of use I mentioned this is my go-to trail bike now since I built it I, and I will say I'm gonna come out if I haven't already said this my favorite Project X, my Hypercarbon X, was my previous favorite, but this has unseated that. I'm happy with everything on this. This is a great build. This wheel set, the tires, even that fork, that Suntour XCR. It's done its job. It's my intro fork for this bike and my proof that a tapered fork could go in this new tapered headset on these new aluminum comps. But a great, great bike. By far, my best project bike to date. And I even like all the red, these red accents, even my little useless ones, with those valve stem caps. Oh, this Dr. Bike or DR Bike saddle. Let me talk about that for a second. You know, I had read in the reviews, people said that it would start separating after a couple of rides between the padding and this plastic base and that these rails screwed in just with small little screws. Well, I actually, for the first two rides, I checked those. I haven't checked them since. The only thing that's happened with this, it makes a little bit of noise, not here. It's actually where this rail goes into this plastic base. There's just a little bit of, a little bit of play there. I've had that on some other saddles, but you don't get it on really good saddles. But it hasn't gone any beyond what it's at right now. So I just deal with the creek. I thought it was a bottom bracket creek at first. I kept having this small little creek and I kept checking finally determined it was here and that's fine and this padding you know good enough for the trail i wish they made them in colors other than orange and red because i would put a green one on project boundary which i'm about to update even further but project comp v2 soon to get a new fork and that's what all this is kind of leading up to because i have it already i'm going to be cutting it down today and i'm going to do a video on that cutting down a fork and installing it but just a quick update while I'm out on my morning ritual here on our leaf covered trails. Before I wrap this up, I wanna get down here to about this angle because I posted a picture on my community section a few days ago 
almost a week ago, I think. I said, guess where the trail is, because this is all so leaf covered, as I've already talked about. A few of you guessed straight, and if you guessed straight ahead, you are correct, because you probably zoomed in and saw the trail marker there, the green marking on it. But there is also a split. It goes to the left. Well, let me just show you. Let's see if I can do this one-handed without crashing. Okay, this under that little bitty limb hanging down right there is one part. There used to be a section that went here, but I see a few limbs have fallen down there. But it's one that went up here, but this first section, there's one to the left here as well. This is what I take a lot. Difficult holding the camera and this, but also this goes that way and you've seen those logs. There's another trail marker there, but also that's actually the main trail. It was on earlier or that I came off of earlier. It hugs very close to where all this splits off. And switched to voiceover because this is the part where I went on a rambling talk about the trail and its different paths all while trying to hold the camera with my left hand and steer and dodge roots and rocks with the right. Anyway, I wanted to share a bit of my morning ride ritual and also mention that I know it looks like I've quit doing as many videos and I haven't released them but I've actually been riding more than ever lately and filming more than ever. So much filming, in fact, that the holdup has been doing the editing and voiceover on all this content that I have now, but I'm finally catching up, so you'll be getting new videos more so than normal. And that's here on Kev Central and on Kev Central's sister channel, Kev Reviews. I hope that you're subscribed to both and that you have the notification bells active on both so you don't miss any of the new releases that are going to be coming. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I always appreciate that. And now it's time for me to get busy putting the new fork on. Comment below with what you think I'm going to be using. I'll be shocked if anyone gets this. It's an air fork. It's a 27.5 air fork. So comment with the make and model you think I'm going to be using. We'll see if anyone guesses correctly. Here's a hint. Think affordable but outside the norm. Thanks so much for watching this video and for being part of Kev Central. Have a great day.